My plants have gotten really big now and I can't wait to show you all the little baby fruits and vegetables that are growing. Actually just vegetables. I think tomatoes are fruit. Yeah, they're so big. I never thought my tomato plants would get this big. They were so tiny and look at how big they are now. These tomato plants, I honestly don't know what to do with them. They're growing uncontrollably. And you, you see how naive I was when I put these sticks. I thought, oh, that's probably how tall they'll grow. And I put these small sticks in. So I'm going to have to replace all these smaller sticks with like bigger ones. Once they grow beyond these sticks, they kind of tend to break. And I had one tomato plant break on me like that. But look, I have little tomatoes growing. Little tomato. Over here I have cucumber, it's a cucumber, and then I have lots of beans. This right here, this is a disaster. Slugs ended up eating all my lettuce. I have one plant that has somehow survived, but I might actually take all this and just wash it off and make a salad today. I might actually pull this guy out too and plant something else here. Look, what are my baby tomato plants? Sorry, one last vegetable. I think this is squash. Um, Dawn has done a really good job taking care of my plants when I was gone. I mean, there are plants, technically. He's been singing to them apparently, and he's they're all so big now. And the greenhouse looks awesome today we just wanted to kind of give you a life update and show you where we've been living for the past one week while we were supposed to be in um, isolation as you may know we drove back from toronto in plans of settling here temporarily in nova scotia when we came back to nova scotia we didn't really have a plan of where we were going to sleep that night let alone uh, isolate for 14 days but we knew we could always come here dawn's property where we've been staying at for the past few months um, we knew we could come here we knew we had a tent and we knew we had a blow-up mattress so we knew we would survive the night but we really did not plan any further than that we weren't sure if we were supposed to be renting a house we weren't sure if that was safe for the people who were renting the house for us and for ourselves so we were kind of confused but we didn't have a plan we started driving from toronto and we came to nova scotia and i think we reached uh this spot at around 12 o'clock at night and when we pulled in here it was dark and all i could see is like tiny lights those solar lights and then when we pulled in all the way i saw the entire goodwin family pretty much <laughs> waiting here for us this is like a two bedroom apartment look what we did one bedroom sorry there's only one. We couldn't get the two. You guys do okay? You're tired. On. I bet you're tired, right? Yeah. And they were standing in front of this. They were standing in front of this bus, which Don found somewhere for sale. And then Don and his wife, Julie, they're big fans of motor living. I think I mentioned this, that they first started living in a school bus. Anyway, so they were like, oh, this is pretty cool. We can fix it up and we can maybe drive it to Toronto someday. So they bought it and they're letting us self-isolate in it. That was just so nice of them to do this for us. We did not expect it. We definitely did not expect a RV with like everything in it with like a stove and everything for us to like isolate in or live in at all and it was an awesome surprise and we can't thank them enough and a lot of people have been saying that we have been adopted by dawn and family and uh, that is kind of true <laughs> but yes let's go check out this rv 
bus that we've been living in for the past week. This motor home was built by Tiffin Motor Homes. Uh, it's called Allegro Bay. I believe this model was really famous in the 90s. This particular motor home was actually built in 1994, which fun fact was the year I was born. I believe it's 31 or 33 feet long. And these models are known for being really luxurious on the inside. And you'll see what I mean when we go inside. Uh, but for now, let's take a walk around the outside and then we'll go inside. So this is my favorite part of the outside. This saying or this logo roughing it smoothly i think that personifies us doesn't it Mane? yeah it does it does doesn't it not smoothly rough we're like roughing it <laughs> just that just <laughs> <laughs> so that's my favorite part and then it has like a screen door and an actual door there's a spider web up there the engine on this motorhome actually does not work it's not fully functional yet but we're working towards making it fully functional so as you can see, we've used this front section as our power room. Um, these two batteries that you see over here power the um, 110 wall outlets. Uh, they are connected to this inverter. It is a 5000 watt uh, inverter and uh, it's charged through those solar panels over there. This battery right here is what charges all our 12 volt and the lights, uh, all the DC appliances. Uh, this battery is charged through the power that's coming from Dawn's house. Um, it has a little battery charger and that's how we charge it. So this particular model has a slide out. The interior kind of like pulls out and makes more space for us on the inside. Underneath we have plenty of storage. Um, we put our suitcases there. We have a generator here that we haven't used yet. Uh, I think Dawn's working on fixing it. And then there's a ladder here. I think one of these days I'm gonna climb up the ladder and go sit on top and have dinner or something. I think that'll be cool. Sure. Now let's go check out the inside. I'm gonna take your shoes off. So you can see how roomy it is in here. Uh, that right there is the cockpit with swivel chairs and everything. Um, this is the couch. And you have this little dining area here. Now this is that pull out section. So it makes this, it makes room here and it's so spacious. Um, I bet you're wondering why there's a huge desktop here. Uh, I've just recently started working remotely. So we've been trying to get a nice setup going with internet and power and everything. Um, but yeah, that is why that desktop is there. And this little contraption here is how we've been boosting our signal in here. Uh, we'll talk more about that when, if you'd like, on another video, I guess. This is the kitchen. It has a, what is this, a dual sink. There are two sinks. For running water, we have a little pump outside and we turn it on and you have running water. Um, there's this cute little stove, which I absolutely love. And it also has a oven which I haven't used yet, but I will one of these days. And a microwave. Like, and way too many cupboards that I don't know what to do with. Way too many drawers. And it also comes with a fridge uh, that runs on propane and electricity, uh, but it is empty right now, so don't look in there. And a freezer. And some more storage here. Lots of storage here. And this is the vanity. There's a little mirror and like you, you have a sink. Uh, and there's a huge wardrobe here, which we do not know what to do with because we don't have, we downsized all our clothes. So we put our suitcases in there and just our jackets. All of our clothes are still stored in these drawers. Um, we still left them in these packing cubes and left them in this drawer. Sorry, moving on. We have this huge wardrobe here. And then this right here is a shower. With hot water and everything. This 
is the bedroom. This bed is really comfy and comes again with a lot of drawers which we do not know what to do with. But yeah, that's about it. That's the tour of the motorhome. This place has way too many mirrors also. Okay, one here, one here, one there. Outside, it's just our old setup, the table, a camp stove, just in case we want to cook outside. Although I have been cooking inside a lot. And then this right here is a fire pit. It's actually a washing machine drum. Like, I think it's the drum from the dryer or something. And we've been using it as a fire pit. So Megan's been bringing us our groceries uh, since we're self-isolating and she just kind of leaves it by the table. Groceries, beer, whatever we need. Give it some more like of that uh, blue fertilizer stuff. Yes, I need to start I doing that. I don't really know if you're supposed to fertilize. I wanted to put a plant inside. So I'm painting this old coffee can so I can make it a nice planter and put some plants in it. You see this? This string that I've put here? It's just temporary, okay? Like all of this is just temporary. I just put them so they don't... Got it? <laughs> You have to take this seriously. As I mentioned, these slugs are having a field day with my lettuce. So I've decided to just remove them all and then start over. So I'm just going to cut them up and maybe they'll grow. I'm not sure. I might plant something else. But for now, we're just going to gather some salad leaves. This is a weed. Now for a salad. I had some milk go bad because I left it outside um, so I'm gonna just turn that into cheese now and we'll use it in our salad this is going to be a very resourceful salad okay what do you mean by that because we're using stuff that we're being resourceful and we have some eggs that Megan bought us I hope whatever this is, is cheese. Okay, I have some potatoes here that I made for breakfast. So we're just gonna throw, I'm gonna use that to make my I also sprouted some peas. Not bad. It has like the texture of cheese. It really does. How am I gonna mix this without making a mess? <laughs> I forgot one important ingredient. What's that? Hot peppers. It's actually so good. Mm. Do you want some dessert? Uh, yep. <clears throat> Gross. Okay, so for dessert, we have this thing. I don't know what it's called. It's like almost like jelly. My dad got it for me. It looks like this. I don't know what it's called. You put it in water and you let it soak. And then it kind of turns into jelly. It has no flavor. You have to put some sugar or something to flavor it. See, it's like, see what I mean? It's like weird, but it tastes nice. I think that's too much. It actually literally tastes like sugar water or flavored water. And I think it has like no calories except for the sugar. 
Okay, so we thought we'd start a fire and just hang out by the fire for a bit. Uh, and Charlie showed us this new and improved way of starting a fire. But kids do not do this at home. Put the knife back. Follow me. Can you get some petrol? Everything is too far. <laughs> Why are you taking it out? <laughs> we don't need this anymore here in Nova Scotia. You only need the back plate? Yeah, just the back plate. Kind of looks empty now though. I think we're gonna call it a day. It was a very nice relaxing day. We did got, got some things done and it was nice showing you the greenhouse and the, our new living setup and everything. We do wanna update you on a couple of things. I know we mentioned that we were selling the Jeep and we were going to Toronto to sell the Jeep. Uh, well, we got all the seats and everything in. Uh, we have posted an ad. If someone comes up and wants to buy it, well, they buy it at this point we're not really pushing it um if it gets sold it gets sold if it doesn't we're not really worried we'll just continue our journey well we are in nova scotia now and as for me i've taken up a remote job just so we have some income coming in uh for the next couple of months while we you know get ready for our next chapter we're looking for some properties around here in nova scotia for us to just settle down we cannot wait to be exploring uh, the maritimes we have a lot of trips planned and a lot of projects in mind um so we're really excited for that we did one more thing in the past week after a lot of contemplation we finally uh, started a patreon page we're going to put a lot of uh, behind the scenes there and a lot of patreon only content some bloopers and we can also do some giveaways there and just uh, have a more close relationship with our hardcore followers um, so we're really excited for that so we'll leave a link to that in the description below go check it out and like this video if you like this video and subscribe to our channel thanks bye what is it it's a, a 3d cn tower maybe i missed toronto more than just a lot of fun stuff uh planned can you turn that off Let's go harvest some salad. No, we can harvest salad. Let's go harvest some salad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put a lot of behind the scenes there and 